Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom token. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Mew, uh, in Parity, and MetaMask. Okay, and also the Ethereum Core Wallet, which has the Mist Browser. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Proppy um, as an example. Now, the CrowdSale still hasn't finished, okay? So, um, it's a good one to use as an example. So here I can see I've actually purchased some, but I can see that the ticker is pro. Okay, so all you really need to find out all the details uh, that you need to add a custom token to your wallet, um, you either need the ticker, uh, which in this case is pro, or the contract address. Now, the way that you can find out all the rest of the details, like the decimal and all the rest of the details, is you go to etherscan.io okay then you go to token and then view tokens okay and in here you can either put the ticker name or the contract address so in this case I'm going to just put pro okay and then it'll give you a list now I can see down here here is proppy okay so if I click on that it's now going to give me all the details that I need. It's going to give me the contract address, the decimals, okay, and obviously the name. So once I have these details, now I can add them to any of the wallets. Okay, so in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so let's add a custom token to Mew or my Ether wallet. So the first thing we need to do is once you're logged in, is to come down to add custom token. Okay, and click on that. So you're going to need an address, which is the contract address. Okay, so here we have the property contract address. So we're just going to copy this. We'll come back to my Ether wallet and we'll put that in here. Okay, we know the token symbol is pro. Okay, and the decimals. I know it's eight. Okay, but we can check back here. You can see it's eight. Okay, and then we just need to uh, save, okay? So you can see here that it's actually added it here, but obviously we don't have any pro, so it's not gonna show anything, okay? But you can see now it has been added. So once you get sent some pro, it would automatically update this amount, obviously if it's for this address, okay? So it's that simple to add a custom token to Mew. In the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom token to the Ethereum Core Wallet um, with the Mist Browser. Okay, so I use the Ethereum Core Wallet with the Mist Browser for um, actually displaying all my tokens. I think it's the best uh, wallet for doing so. And it also, uh, if you've got, say, for example, four Ethereum addresses and you've got tokens so for example, for mobile go on three different addresses, it accumulates them and gives you a total. Okay, so I really like the Ethereum Core Wallet for that. It's not for everyone because you need to download the, uh, the, the entire chain. So you definitely need space on your computer to be able to host it. Uh, but I think that if you can have the Ethereum Core Wallet in Mist, uh, plus Mew, Parity, MetaMask, have them all and use them for different things depending on what you need them for, I think you have a, a, a really good advantage um, by doing so. Okay, so here um, we're just going to grab this contract address again and I already have the Ethereum Core Wallet here. So all we need to do in here is click on contracts and you can see I already have quite a few listed in here and this is really simple. Um, all you need to do is click on watch token and all we need to do is just paste in the contract address and it automatically fills everything in. Now this is providing that the token has been registered okay and then we just click OK so now that once we have this as soon as we get sent our property tokens they will show up here okay so it's as simple as that using the Ethereum Core Wallet and Mist in the next part of the video I'm going to show you how to do it in MetaMask okay so MetaMask is very simple also if we just copy this contract address and we know it's pro as a ticker and we know the decimals are 8 if we come to MetaMask and we just click on add token, contract address, 
it's already filled in pro and eight we just go add okay now it won't actually uh, show anything in here unless you have some pro tokens so as soon as you have some pro tokens it will actually display in here okay so it's that simple for metamask in the next part of the video i'm going to show you parity so parity works a little bit different so here you can see in parity i have this account open and if you look here you can see all these are tokens that have been added to this account now they get added automatically so for example if pro has been registered with the token registry then as soon as i am sent pro to this address it will actually just turn up in here okay now you can create a contract and watch the actual address um, so i'll show you how to do that if we grab this contract address and i come back to parity and then we'll come to contracts and then i'll click on watch and then on token and then next okay so what i'm going to put in here is the contract address for propy all right and I'm going to call this, I'll make that capitals, um, pro for the ticker, okay. And then I'm going to add contract, okay. Now, if we click on this, what it will do is it will actually, it's actually watching this contract now, okay. So it will load all the transactions. But what you can do is it, you can see over here it has balance of, okay and it has address so if we want to query this and if we want to keep an eye on this then we can add the address that is associated uh, with the pro token that we know the pro token is going to come to okay so we'll click on that that will add it into here and then we just click on query okay and you can see right now that there is no pro tokens in here and that's because I haven't got any but if I did have some they would show up here now if you're not sure whether or not it's actually if the token has been added to the registry you can come to applications token registry let's have to wait for this to load and then search token and then you can add the actual address in here and query it uh, pro is not showing up at the moment you can see all the ones that are, that are here I'll just give you an example for example if we do um, Aventus we do AVT okay and then click on query you'll see that it shows all the details for that okay so if it has been registered in here it will then show up straight away under your account as soon as you sent the tokens if it if it's not registered in here then it won't then you can just do the watch list which I showed you okay so that's parity so I hope this has helped you uh, because I do see a lot of people asking questions about add token so hopefully this covers you know the basics and uh, helps you a little bit and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and uh, obviously the more you like it the more people see it and you know it's good to try and help people as much as possible